Hi friends, I am starting an experiment to grow cucumbers in Aero Gardens. This variety is called Isnik. It is a parthenocorpic variety and it doesn't require pollination. By the way, if you have any questions on the pollination, I have a separate video explaining all about pollination, especially in the context of indoor hydroponics. Please find the link in the description below if you are interested. Coming back to my experiment, I am planning to grow this variety in 4 aero gardens. Of course, it depends on the germination. I will just start with harvest model. Any aero garden works the same way for germination. So I will use harvest for germination and move the seedlings later on. I am placing one seed in each pod and starting with 4 pods. Alright, the garden is ready. As always, I will add water but I will not add nutrition right away. I will start adding nutrition once I see the seedlings. It's been 4 days and all seeds germinated. Wow, 100% germination rate. That's really awesome. Day 14, seedlings are coming very nice. In fact, they are plants now. It is time to make other aerogardens ready to move the seedlings. This harvest excel will be one of them. I will pull out this tomato plant and make it ready. I need to think about two more aerogardens. Day 20, plants are getting big. I already moved one plant to harvest excel. It is time to move the remaining plants. I have this aerogarden bounty and aerogarden bounty elite ready. I will move two plants today and dedicate the harvest for one plant. Day 29, the plant is coming excellent. It started developing lot of side growth. And I also see some flower birds. So this is all going excellent. Older leaves are getting huge and this area is getting overcrowded. This is creating issues for both space and the light distribution. So it is time to remove some of the older leaves. These older leaves are aging out anyways. So removing these leaves will definitely help the plant. Now the plant is looking light and less dense. Since the plant is growing tall, I am trying to push it towards the sideways. The light on this harvest can be extended up to 11 inches only. So I want to keep the plant under the lights as much as possible. I am making one important change in this grow cycle from this point. Since the plant is getting huge, it started drinking lots of water. So I started adding more nutrients. I am still following the nutrition reminder and adding 8 ml of nutrients every time when I see the reminder. Additionally, I am adding 3 ml of nutrition every time when I refill the water. Cucumber plants are heavy feeders, so they will always enjoy additional nutrients. Day 36, the plant is growing excellent. I see the flower tips are turning yellow, so they must be getting ready to bloom. Some of the leaves are getting huge and blocking the light going on to the younger growth. So I will remove these older leaves. Even though these older leaves are looking very healthy, it is better to remove them so that the light will be distributed to the younger growth. This plant already has lots of matured as well as young leaves. So that's good enough for healthy growth of this plant. Since the plant is continuously growing and producing lots of baby cucumbers, it will be stressed out to distribute the energy to all the vines, branches and the baby cucumbers. I really wanted to slow down the growth of this plant. So I will cut the tips of the vines so that the growth will slow down and the plant will shift energy to the baby cucumbers. After all, I am growing this plant in a harvest model which is a small hydroponic system for bigger plants like cucumbers. 
So this plant should stay low anyways. So cutting the tips will help the plants one way or the other. Day 45, plant is doing excellent. It has produced so many flower birds and flowers. Every flower bird I see so far is a female flower. If you wonder how do we say that it is a female flower, all female flowers will have a baby cucumber behind the petals. I also see some development of cucumbers. Three cucumbers are showing good progress as of now. I never thought that I can grow cucumbers in a harvest model. I am very well prepared to fail in this experiment, but it is giving me a great hope. Let's see where it will end up. Day 55, the plant is doing unbelievably great. I never expected that I can manage cucumber plant in harvest model. But it is doing excellent and I see three cucumbers growing very well. Look at these beauties. This experiment already exceeded my expectations. Reaching to this level of success in this small aero garden is definitely an amazing thing. Day 60, cucumbers are growing very well. They are still pretty dark green and looking young. Maybe they can grow further big. Let's see. Few more baby cucumbers had a little progress, but I am not seeing any progress recently. I think they are stunted. Looks like the plant is focusing completely on these cucumbers. Maybe I should harvest these matured cucumbers, but I really want to see how big they can grow. Day 62, I see the cucumbers are changing the colors. Normally, cucumbers turn from dark green to light green as they mature. So, it is time to harvest the first cucumber. Look at this beautiful cucumber. Very nice. Day 64, one more cucumber fully matured. So, it is time to harvest the second cucumber from this plant. Day 67, third cucumber also matured. Look at this color pattern. The edges turning into light green or yellowish. This is a clear indication that the cucumber is fully matured. I see one more cucumber is getting ready here. That's really nice. Now it's time to harvest the third cucumber from this plant. Here it is. Beautiful. Day 70, one more cucumber is almost ready. This is the fourth cucumber from this plant. Wow! This is a steady growth. I don't know how long this journey will go on. I will stop here for now and I will keep you updated on the remaining growth cycle in a follow-up video. Overall, I am extremely happy with this experiment. Excellent germination rate fast growth, low maintenance, juicy, crunchy and tasty cucumbers. Wow! Everything went very well in this experiment. All I did is removing the older leaves time to time, cutting the tops and adding some extra nutrients every time when I refill the water. By the way, I have been using just the aerogoden nutrients all the time, nothing else. I have grown many varieties of cucumbers in Aero Gardens and I got pretty good results from all my experiments. But this is the most successful cucumber variety. So if you are growing cucumbers for the first time, I recommend you to start with this variety. One more important thing that is worth mentioning is remove any stunted growth as soon as possible. That could be the baby cucumbers, leaves or the side branches. If you don't see any growth on the baby cucumbers or if their tips started browning or yellowing, that is the indication of stunted growth. 
Removing the stunted growth from the plant will save the energy and the plant can focus better on the healthy growth. Hope all these tips will help you grow cucumbers successfully in your aero gardens. That is all for now. Thanks for watching and happy aero gardening.